Hello everyone, my name is Jagpal. Today in this video, I will be taking you through the transaction logs in Microsoft SQL Server. And I will be covering one uh, very critical scenarios in transaction logs, when the transaction logs get full. And you also start getting the error message and your database uh, completely becomes non-usable. So uh, let us get started. Uh, the, this is uh, this issue uh, is also very well described by Microsoft in MS Docs. So I will be directly taking you through the documentation from Microsoft. As you can see on my screen in this Microsoft document, uh, Microsoft has mentioned this error troubleshoot a full transaction log SQL Server 9002. If you go to Google and search by name SQL Server 9002 you will easily get this document. Though I will also be able to, I will also be pasting this document in the description below. So whenever you get uh, this error, which says uh, 9002 error, and it also says when and the transaction log is full, then your database becomes non accessible becomes uh, non accessible to the application. And Microsoft has explained this uh, problem really well. Microsoft has not only explained the cause, but uh, also what all steps can be taken by a database administrator in Microsoft SQL to, solve, to take care of this problem. So to, to under, understand this and to take care of this uh, problem, uh, Microsoft has taken two key scenarios. The first scenario states like log can fill when the database is online or in recovery. So, uh, Microsoft will, uh, when the database is online, okay, then your uh, database uh, is will be accessible and for a read commands, but you cannot update in the database. But if the log files during recovery, if the database goes into a recovery mo mode, then the database engine marks database as resource pending. In other case, user action is required to make the log space available. So this means for uh, you, to get your database back to accessible mode where your application is able to access it, it is very important that you should be able to free up the space in the log file so that your, your log files can uh, take more records or else you should be able to truncate the record from the log file so that the space in the log file becomes reusable. So Microsoft has explained like what all steps you can uh, take I have uh, Microsoft first explains about the catalog view sysdot databases in which you can check log reuse weight description as one of the column to find out the cause of increase in the full uh, the transaction log in database. I have covered this in one of uh, the previous uh, one of my previous videos. I will be sharing the link of that video in the description below. You can you can go through that and can understand like how you can find out the cause of uh, cause for increase in the size of the transaction logs. So what all steps can you take? So Microsoft has given here in, 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 in very clear terms uh, what all steps you can take. And then uh, after these steps, uh, this link from Microsoft very clearly explains like what all can you do in each of the steps. So alternatively for responding to a full transaction log include backing up the log. The first step which you can take is to back up your log because backing up your log is, is directly going to truncate your log and your log will have a reusable space which can be taken by transaction log uh, which newly created because of the new transactions and your application and your transaction will start running fine. Second step which you can take like freeing disk space so that log can automatically grow. Now, if your log file it has a restricted growth or limited growth, then it cannot grow beyond a particular size. In that case, you can ensure that log uh, can freely grow, uh, like can automatically grow, automatically grow, and so that whenever it needs more space. A uh, log file can expand and can create free space, which can be consumed by uh, the new transactions which are which are to be taken place in database. 
that is another way moving the log file to a disk drive is sufficient space now moving the log file to a disk drive uh, so this means let's take if you have log file in d drive which has shortage of space then you can move this log file to a different drive which has sufficient free space available that way you can also take care of this problem so uh, if we if we go by go down there are many of the steps which are uh, all these steps are explained by microsoft then add a log file on a different disk add a new log file to the database on a different disk like you have log file on d drive which is already full as for microsoft you can also create a new log file on e drive if it has or any other drive which uh, has free space so that you have two logs log files and the new transactions which are now taking place in database they can start consuming the log file in e drive that way you will be able to take care of the situation this is not going to have any impact on the performance rather performance will not improve because any record which gets recorded in the transaction log it always uh, gets recorded in a serial fashion okay, so but yes since the new log file will have ample and sufficient free space so your transactions will certainly be able to continue and then uh, you can also check you know the uh, the long running transactions if any of the transaction is running for a very long time or is active you can kill that transaction or you can find out the transaction there is a dmv which is provided by microsoft sys.dm tran database transactions with the help of this you should be able to find out the uh, database transaction begin time stop time and then you can also find out the log sequence number that way when you are able to get the details about the transactions and this id you can you can kill that dbc is the open tran a statement lets you identify the user id of the owner of the transaction so you can potentially track down the source of the transaction for a more orderly termination so getting the user and his identity who is running the active transaction for a long time uh, can also be found with the help of dbcc open tran and thereafter you can kill the transaction so in our environment uh, we faced this problem and we were able to take care of it by creating more space on a d drive because why I am giving you example of D or E drive because D, we typically use D drive for uh, the log files of our databases. But yes, if you, uh, so, and you can take any of these steps as Microsoft has explained with the help of which you uh, will certainly be able to take care of uh, and this, this problem of uh, transaction log full where you get SQL Server 9002 error message. Uh, that's all from my side i hope you find this uh, uh, video useful if you have learned something new please give this video thumbs up and please provide your comments uh, down below about uh, this video or uh, provide your feedback any new video you like me to cover because i support microsoft sql server and uh, sql server on azure i will certainly be able to prepare videos about these subjects uh, we'll be able to share the best practices for Microsoft if that helps you take care of problems in your environment. Uh, it's, a, it's great preparing such videos which can be helpful to others. So thank you so much. Uh, have a good day. Bye-bye.